a lot of people have been wondering what's going on with Joe Rogan. It seems like COVID broke his brain, but I promise you, he's been a buffoon for a very long time. Here's what I think is happening with Joe Rogan. I think that when Rush Limbaugh died, his demonic spirit possessed Joe Rogan and it turned him into a full-blown conservative reactionary, not just, you know, conspiratorial and conservative around the edges, like full-blown. And now he's social conservative as well. So take a look at what Joe Rogan says when discussing the Don't Say Gay bill. Keep in mind, this is a very dumb dis uh, misinformed take, but that's to be expected for Joe Rogan because why do a simple Google search and actually learn what the bill is about? But let's, uh, let's go ahead and listen to what he has to say here. I had a conversation with someone the other day and she was like, I would be down with Republicans if they would just drop all the gay shit. She was like, yes. this is, all that gay stuff, like, leave those fucking gay people alone. Like, this is, it's yeah. one of the, the, the dumbest it's, aspects yeah. of hardcore conservatives. Yeah, that they, absolutely. That, I love how the assumption is that Republicans are only bad because they're homophobic. They also don't care that thousands of people are dying every single year because they lack access to basic health care. They also don't care about housing food insecurity. They are very hawkish when it comes to foreign policy. Uh, I mean, to be fair, Democrats are too. But overall, you can check every single box of what makes a terrible person, and that's the Republican Party. I mean, have you watched any of the confirmation hearings for Kentanji Brown-Jackson? They're screaming about how maybe she's sympathetic to pedophiles. They're screaming about critical race theory. These are insane people. A lot of them are just full-on anti-democracy at this point. So, uh, yeah, they're homophobic and that's bad. And I'm glad that whoever he had a conversation with acknowledges that. But that's not the only reason why Republicans are bad. And to be clear, I'm no fan of Democrats, but Republicans are off the spectrum when it comes to political ideology. They're just authoritarian at this point. They deny gay rights. And uh, I, I go, I think you're probably not alone. I think there's probably a lot of people that feel that way. There's, there's a lot of people that are in the center on whether it's from left wing issues or right wing issues. You know, with left-wing issues, maybe it's uh, trans women in sports or maybe it's, uh, you know, uh, gender confirmation. It's like this don't say gay thing in Florida. When I heard that, I was like, what? <laughs> what are they saying? You can't say gay? Is that really what's going oh, on? Is that, it that's, turns out that's, that's, that's not thing. what it is. Yeah. It's not what it is yeah. at all. What it is oh, really? Will you enlighten us then? Because I would love to know what it is. Because if you aren't allowed to say gay in the classroom, even if it is grades K through third grade, um then what is it? What's the parameters of this? Now, if you look at the legislation, they left it purposefully vague because really this is about intimidating teachers, I think, anyways. If you're, you know, a female teacher and you happen to reference your wife, if you're a kid with um, two mommies and your teacher references that, that all is potentially illegal under this legislation. So it quite literally is a don't say gay bill, but apparently Joe Rogan knows more and he's going to explain what specifically it means. This is ages, it's first through third grade, they're saying you're not supposed to talk about sexual orientation, gender orientation, or sexual proclivity. Or and Now, do they, do they do this in schools? When I was in kindergarten, I don't really remember them talking about homosexuality. I don't ever remember being taught the fundamentals of gay sex when I was seven years old uh so this isn't actually an issue it's creating a solution for a problem that doesn't exist specifically to make kids with gay parents feel you know otherized kids can know that gay people exist and that doesn't necessarily mean that you're teaching them about homosexuality that's that's absurd to think that but that's what this bill does or you know what what you're yeah. interested in yeah. they said you should just teach math and science and history to little kids yeah and just are you sure that they're okay with teaching history joe but that's what's happening this is just simply you have to pretend as if gay people don't exist to an absurd extent so if timmy has two dads you can't bring that up otherwise you could be penalized if you're a teacher isn't that absurd isn't this censorship wasn't joe rogan just screeching about censorship but yet it's okay to censor people if it's something that we disagree with. But the toddlers be toddlers yeah. and then, then they can you can then you can start ramping up your, it's, your it's, instruction. You know, and, and people see that right there is this insinuation that, you know, um you teach kids to be gay. If you just expose them to homosexuality when you when you start to ramp up the indoctrination, then that's when you could get them to be gay. Except it doesn't work that way. 
I mean, all throughout my life, I didn't know that homosexuality was a thing. My parents are both heterosexual. Every single one of my siblings were heterosexual. Uh, I did not know that gay was a thing, but yet somehow I still turned out gay. It's almost like you can't teach someone to be a certain way, and anyone who suggests that is a fucking moron. Uh, for example, I don't think that Joe Rogan chose to be straight or that guy who just chimed in and suggested that you can teach kids to be gay. I don't think he chose to be straight. If so, then choose a different sexual orientation. Choose to like men. Go suck a dick and enjoy it. Try that. You can't do that. You wouldn't like it because you don't choose your sexual orientation. So it's just completely idiotic. And they're bringing back this old trope about how gay people supposedly choose to be gay. No, you just are. If I could have chosen my sexual orientation, I promise you, growing up evangelical, I would not have chosen to be gay. So this is just ignorant and stupid, and I feel like they've never spoken to a gay person ever. Start ramping up your, it's, your it's, instruction. You know, and, instruction. And, and, <laughs> Let's indoctrinate these kids. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, you absolute moron. People are opposed to that, but it's like, listen, your your teachers are not supposed to be the people that explain gender to a fucking seven-year-old. And they're not doing that. They're not doing that. That's not what's going on. How many anecdotes even exist where this is the case, where you have a kindergarten teacher who brings these kids into the classroom and she says, okay, now kids, let's talk about gender identity. You know, there are some people who identify as male, female. We have non-binary uh, gender identities. Nobody does that. Nobody does that. And nobody is advocating for teaching sex ed ages K through third grade. That's madness. You made that up. It's not actually an issue. You just want to make it so that way uh, you pretend as if gay people don't exist and some kids don't have two mommies or two daddies. Yeah. It's just, the, and who are these teachers? And how do you, do you know what their perspective is? Are they... Now, this is already bad, but it's going to get worse, believe it or not. Intelligent about it? Are they trying to indoctrinate the child to any particular point of view, whether it's pro? Yes, Joe. They're trying to teach children about butt sex. Is that is that what the implication is? They're trying to teach kids to be gay, right? That's what that's why so many gay people, folks, in case you don't know, are trying to teach kids to be gay. So that way there's more people to date. Try to widen that pool so you have a bigger opportunity to land someone that you want to marry maybe one day. That's what it is. I mean, what are you talking about, Joe? You sound like a fucking moron right now because you are. But I mean, this is this is just straight up conservatism like this isn't even oh well i'm a populist conservative or i'm i'm kind of anti-establishment you're just a social conservative now you're a trad con joe how pathetic you're just rush limbaugh now transgender or anti-transgender or anti-gay or pro-gay they shouldn't have any say at all when you're talking to uh a seven-year-old kid. I mean, I feel like that is the job of the parents. Yeah. That's the job. I mean, and you hope the parents are doing right. it. But um, you when know, kids it's, yeah. get older and they, you know, they develop feelings for either the same sex or opposite sex, or they feel like they're in the wrong body, the, the, yeah. then these conversations should be had by qualified people that can discuss this from a nuanced perspective and understand what the psychology of a young person who's trying to figure out who they are in the world is. But the idea that this is a don't say gay right. because you're 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 it saying is. that ages uh, you know first grade to third grade that you shouldn't be bringing up these subjects to them. I, mean, I think a lot of people are saying no. I just don't want you grooming my kids for whatever your ideology is. Yeah. Whether it's a right wing idea. Wow. Wow. So if you say gay, if you let kids know that gay people exist casually by talking about your two uncles or your two mommies. You're grooming kids into an ideology because being gay is an ideology, right? And it's also grooming. So the reason why he's saying this is because Joe Rogan is just a Fox News grandpa at this point. Laura Ingram said grooming and she used the words grooming. And now he's just regurgitating what he hears on Fox News because I'm assuming he watches it every fucking night. But this is such a gross thing to do because you're bringing back that old gays are pedophile trope and they want to groom children into the gay lifestyle so they can be in relationships with them. Like that's what he's doing. So it's bigoted to say that. But also think of how 
stupid this view is. Sexual orientation isn't just about sex. And so to him, it, it's inextricably linked, right? So sex and orientation, you can't disconnect them, according to Joe Rogan. If you tell a kid that someone is gay or if a kid knows that somebody is gay, that means automatically that that person just likes to fuck. That's that's it's all about fucking right. Marriage is it's just, you know, a, a transactional thing. For Joe Rogan, you know, for his wife, that's just the person who he fucks. That's all it is, right? It, learning that he is straight means I know his sexual preference. There's nothing else to homosexuality or heterosexuality. When Joe Rogan goes to dinner parties, he introduces his wife as his cum dumpster. Hi, everyone. This is my meat wallet, Rebecca. Just stand in the corner until we're ready for sex. Do you really think that's all that it is, Joe? Don't you think that there's more to your sexual identity and your sexual preference? Isn't it also about companionship and love and friendship? Uh, isn't it about more than that? Or is it just about sex? See, he's overly sexualizing gay people because gay people, they're inherently uh, promiscuous. It's just about sex. Therefore, if you tell a kid that gay people exist, um, if you tell a kid that Timmy has two mommies, then it's, oh, see, they're having gay sex. That's what you think about. That is your brain on uh, traditional conservatism. That's what this is about. He, he thinks that gay people are basically um, trying to groom children. He just said it. This is Joe Rogan being explicitly homophobic, saying that to let kids know that gay people exist, it's grooming. Okay, so if I buy a present for my niece or my nephew, and I put from your uncles on the gift tag, uncles meaning two men who are married, does that mean that I'm grooming them and I'm trying to get them to be gay as well? Or am I just simply acknowledging that this is my partner and we both purchased this gift for you? Here you go. Happy birthday. Like this logic here is is moronic. It's buffoonish. But Joe Rogan is a buffoon. Joe Rogan is an imbecile and he just parrots whatever he hears. So the conservatives currently are on this anti-gay trip and anti-trans trip. And on Fox News, he hears them saying, uh, you know, this is about grooming. And so he just regurgitate that. Why would I watch Joe Rogan when I can just watch Fox News? It's the same fucking thing at this point, right? Laura Ingram says grooming. Joe Rogan says grooming. Might as well just watch fucking Fox News. He talks about anti-vax bullshit. They talk about anti-vax bullshit. Just watch it straight from the source. Just watch Fox News because that's what Joe Rogan is at this point. Yeah, slowly turning into Alex Jones and their friends as well. Now, I do want to share this video from uh, Status Quo. Uh, so this individual here... Anna V. Escamani. She is a representative in Florida. She responds to ro what Rogan says here, where he claims that this is about grooming children because gays are pedophiles. Um, and here's what she says about that. I wanted to bring up something Joe Rogan said because he's got mm. major influence. Yeah. Uh, 11 million podcast listeners. Uh, I don't know if he read the bill. I doubt it. But he said uh, he didn't. it's first through third grade. And they're saying your, te accurate. your teacher is not supposed to be talking about sexual orientation, gender orientation, or sexual proclivity, or what you're interested in. They, they said you should just teach math and science and history to little kids. Your teachers are not supposed to be the people who explain gender to a fucking seven-year-old. Who are these teachers? And do you know what their perspective is? Are they intelligent about it? Are they trying to indoctrinate the child to any particular point of view, whether it's pro-transgender or anti-transgender or anti-gay or pro-gay? They shouldn't have any say at all when you're talking to a seven-year-old kid. Uh, I have strong thoughts on that, but I wanted <laughs> to ask you because uh, yeah. for better or worse, when he weighs into these things, it, it, yeah, it, it influences. It does, it does. So first of all, it's not even accurate. His depiction of the bill is not accurate. Surprise. It is not only K to third grade, but then it has the word or in it. And honestly, if it was just kindergarten or third grade, I feel like there could have been, you know, a less outrage around that because we could we could try to work with the bill sponsor to see if there was a way to ensure that at least there's protections for kid conversations around mm -hmm. these topics. But the word or is in the bill. I don't care how many times these hyper conservative voices want to ignore that. The word or is in the bill and it says or whenever not deemed age appropriate. That is not even defined, meaning that the Department of Education, which already removed anti LGBTQ plus bullying curriculum from their website in December of 2021, would be the ones to decide when is it age appropriate to uh, acknowledge that LGBTQ plus people exist. 
And keep in mind that we've made such progress in academic settings around non-discrimination policies, which this one is clearly in the face of that. And, and we've also ha have to address the high suicide rates among our young people, which is four times worse for children who identify as LGBTQ+. Isn't it astonishing, though, how conservatives like Joe Rogan, they think that if you just hide the existence of gay people from children, they won't grow up to be gay. Isn't that insane to think that way? I mean, that's the implication, right? He thinks that gay people are so persuasive that if kids know about their existence at the age of seven, they'll just automatically turn gay like that the second they learn that gay people exist. So this really, like, this is about erasing gay people out of existence.